Praise the Lord. You know, it's such a privilege for us to open the Word of God and read, to meditate, to spend time together like this, to um, uh, declare the scripture in the atmosphere. Praise God. You know, if you have perfume and you spray it in the atmosphere, something happens, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, brings gladness to your heart. Yes. And um, uh, hopefully good memories. Perfume kindles memories. And um, uh, so also, um, declare the word of God. Speak the word of God. Make it, make it a, a, a practice. Like uh, how perfume uh, dissipates and uh, does something to the atmosphere. Uh, speaking the word of God does something. Hallelujah. I, I hope you sense it. I mean, I was tremendously blessed reading the scripture and then to hear you repeat that part, I, I was feeling a, a blessing come towards me. An encouragement coming towards me when you were echoing or reading the rest of that scripture. Um, praise God, you are blessed. Yeah, I tell people and I want to, there are a few that are joining us. Yeah, I know that you probably watch us online as well, but... Um, uh, it's a state of being blessed. You know, the Lord says uh, our qualification to be blessed by God is if you're able to admit you're poor in spirit. Isn't that amazing? That's how he starts. It's, it's incredible. If you, if you say you have a need, if you come to me and acknowledge your need, praise the Lord. That's the starting place, isn't it? And um, I, I want to encourage you. You qualify for the blessedness that uh, Christ wants in your life. For happiness, the word blessed means to be happy, to be envied. Praise the Lord. To have a smile on your face. Praise the Lord. Um, I, I think, uh, I can't remember the exact um, quote, but someone was uh, speaking. You need not look any further than a smile for the evidence that there is a God. You know, the smile is such a wonderful thing. Can I see you smile this, this evening? It, it, it is something incredible, isn't it? Uh, praise the Lord. Can I see you smile this evening? <laughs> praise the Lord. Um, and um, he pronounces blessing. Christ has come to bless. Praise the Lord. Christ has come to bless. I mean, any doubt you read what uh, he's, he's, you know, his... Uh, initial teaching, blessed. Initial word to proceed out of him towards his disciples and teaching. Recorded as in scripture, blessed. blessed yes. Praise the Lord, blessed. So we, we are um, uh, way down in verse 8 of the Beatitudes, uh, which is, uh, it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Glory. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall, yes, for they shall see God. Purity is a commodity to be desired above every other commodity. I encourage you that um, as you approach the throne of grace to declare the power of the blood. We can... Um, you know, we can um, take out the meaning of these things. It can become a ritual for us. But to be washed is, uh, is no small thing. To be washed by the blood is no small thing. It gives you a license. It gives you an access they shall see God. Praise the Lord. I, I encourage pastors, I encourage, uh, I encourage um, churches um, to constantly declare the power in the blood. To constantly declare the power in the blood. When you pray, make it a point to declare the power in the blood. Praise the Lord. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. It grants us... Um, 
uh, it grants us access to such great promises. Blessed are the, this is a promise. Hallelujah. Active over you, it's a promise. Sometimes we look at it ex- exclusively as a, as a teaching. Uh, this, each one of them is a promise. It's a promise. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see. Let me translate that for you in a, in a certain practical sense this evening. If today you chose to be transparent before God, if you chose to say, Lord, here I am, um, transform me, change me, like uh, you were being led in prayer, transform me, change me. Uh, if, you, if you access that, get ready to see God. Get ready to see God, to experience God in a fresh and new way way praise the lord praise the lord um uh, uh, this is bible study so i I will always encourage you um those of you that are regular those of us those of you that are watching us i hope that you are keeping abreast with uh prophetic um events going on around the world i hope you're keeping yourself um you, you know sometimes i wonder if i should just do a quiz or something you know have each of you give me a something out of uh, this week that you notice that are pointers to Christ's return, pointers to what's going on in this world. Yeah, my wife is smiling. I don't know if if she's remembered something. Um, I mean, it's very difficult to avoid um, what's going on in the world. Hmm? It's, uh, It's infecting everything. Billions of people were subjected to um, all sorts of protests this week. Some of you look at me, how did billions, when did that happen? I missed that. Yeah, the ones who got married uh, this week, yeah, we'll give you some, uh, you know, we'll give you some leeway to. <laughs> so uh, billions of people were subject to um, protests about something that is directly connected to the end times. Sayo, I hope you're aware. I'm talking about the World Cup. There's all sorts of stuff going on concerning um, homosexual uh, rights, LGBTQ plus, etc., dot, 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 whatever. Yeah, and um, how such a minority is having such a sway is uh, is really strange, yeah. So we know that uh, it's the hour of uh, you know things are changing rapidly, and uh, in fact today the uh, FIFA is is allowing the uh, display of those flags, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, if you are aware of the prophetic, that's the reason I'm saying um, we should be. Yeah, getting excited for the fact that Christ is coming back soon. Yes, Christ is coming back soon. Praise the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So the opposite of this is true, isn't it? Sometimes these scriptures take an entirely, uh, they kind of smack you in the face when you, you um, uh, consider what's the opposite. We seem to be blissfully unaware sometimes, or many a times, that the opposite is also true, isn't it? Ken, what do you think? How would you construct this in the opposite fashion? Oh. Huh? Yeah. That's right. So um, you'll have to use a bit more stronger words. Because, yeah, hey, who's that? Who's that? Who said that word? Huh? Yeah, you see, you have to do what's the opposite of blessed. Cursed are the in heart, for they shall not see. Now, if I were to run through the Beatitudes with each one in the opposite, we'd get a bit uncomfortable, yes? 
Some of us will be looking for persecution. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. <laughs> but let's stay with this verse. So, cursed are the impure in heart. For they shall not see God. What is the agenda of the kingdom of darkness? To fill this world with impurity. Are you listening, church? What is the agenda of the kingdom of darkness? To fill this world with impurity. As much as possible to put impurity in the hand of every single person. If they could have them gaze on impurity 24-7. If that doesn't ring a bell, then, yeah, send Eureka moments through your mind to see how the prince of the power of the air is working. Yeah. Yeah, prince of the power of the air, yes. The kingdom of darkness desires to fill this world with impurity. And like the pastor was praying this, this evening, it is the church's responsibility to shine the light. It is our responsibility to shine the light. And today, it is, uh, you know, when you apply these scriptures and you look at what we are studying, it is your uh, responsibility to encourage others to drive towards purity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Salt and light, church. You are salt and light. For us, we have uh, gained access to, there is no greater purity that we can enjoy than to be washed by that precious blood. And to have our minds restored. Am I right? Yes. Praise the Lord. To have our minds restored. We think right. Oh, actually we should. We see right. Or actually we should. And we are to encourage others to purity. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And uh, today, there are very, what do you call it, uh, very practical ways of correcting people to encourage purity in their lives. And um, for that purity, that, that seeking for what is right will open up the presence of God. Amen will open up the presence of God. Nowadays, you need to tell people, look at me. You know, you're speaking to your friend. Uh, now it is an exercise in uh, discipline, in purity. You tell them, look at me. To get them off the, yeah, that screen. Praise the Lord. You know, you, you may have friends that uh, are just hooked to these things. Exercise the salt. Exercise um, shedding the light. We must value this commodity called purity. Praise the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. 